What's going on guys? Saturday, the day after Black Friday. Hope everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving and any amounts of shopping they did yesterday. Today I am doing something a little different for everybody. Um, I have a delivery here from Otomics Footwear. Uh, some of you might know them, some of you might not. Uh, anybody who's been following me or knows me for uh, an extended period of time, everybody knows I'm into shoes and uh, kind of like to put my outfits together, go into the gym, whatever you might think of it is what it is. Uh, so I figured I'd do a little unboxing today and maybe a, a quick little review uh, of these shoes. If anyone's curious about anything they might want to try to wear to the gym, whether um, it's a runner or, you know, for my personal preference, it's more uh, of a weight training, bodybuilding type style lifting. So um, let's get right to it and uh, we'll see what, see what we got going on here. All right, so I have not yet opened these as you can see. So let's find... There we go. Okay. Now, Atomics has been around for a long time. You know, they, they uh, specialize in weightlifting shoes and some martial arts shoes. And, um, you know, I had an original pair way back in the 90s, kind of uh, giving my age away maybe a little bit there. Um, you know, and every, I do have a lot of people who ask me, what are good shoes to lift in, to run in, you know, because like I said, I am, I am a sneakerhead as well. So, uh, you know, a lot of it is personal preference, I have to say, uh, whatever feels comfortable. Uh, some people just want to look for the things that look good. And honestly, as long as that's not impeding what you're doing in the gym, there's nothing really wrong with that either. So these are the Super High Pro TKO. Technically a boxing shoe, but again, if anyone's been following me, watch my videos, I love high tops. So let's take a look at these here. Check out some of the craftsmanship. Oh boy. Whew. And there we have it, folks. We have the green camouflage, super high TKO trainer. Get the other one out here. Packaging is very simple, regular box with the name on it, uh, just tissue paper inside. And here we go. And we got both both shoes. Little hang tags. Let's see what these say here. Um, catalogs, like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, I guess the usual athletic equipment. Um, gives you a little info about the shoe, what it's designed for. All right, so let's take a look at this sucker. Wow, the tongue is super, super padded. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. You can see that right there, it's very padded. I guess these definitely are made for boxing. Um, we do have on, a, a non-marking out sole. Let me take that off. Now, if you can tell, the sole is very, very thin. It's probably, feels flexible enough. Um, Will probably offer a lot of floor feel, or as you know, when talking about maybe uh, any other kind of athletic shoe, basketball shoe, tennis shoe, offer you a lot of court feel. You know, kind of put you in in connection with you know whatever surface you're standing on, whether you're doing deadlifts or squats, or even just walking around the gym doing whatever other lifting you're doing, or even boxing if you're actually using these, taking them in the ring. Um, I did see a few posts on Atomics. Instagram showing um, a couple of workers putting the soles on by hand glue and some of their pairs being uh, stitched by hand as well while run through a machine by hand. Um, I don't know if this is the case with all their shoes, but I do like the attention to detail if that's the actual case instead of some of the mass produced stuff that some of us are used to now uh, quality wise. Now, the retail price on these, I believe, direct from Otomics was $144. I used a Black Friday code a few days early that they sent out. If you're um, signed up to the VIP emailing list, which you should be if you're interested in these kinds of things or their clothes. Um, so I was 30% off, and then they charged me a few bucks for shipping. So I think these came to my door for about $115, which to me uh, is... Totally fine seeing how most of the stuff I'm into or most of the stuff that's out there is at least that, if not more. Um, let's see, we have, like I said, looks like a very durable canvas material here. You know, the stitching here 
the atomics name here, and we have atomics back here. Um, now, for most of the other shoes I wear when I'm working out, I have a couple. I tend to like the Nike Air Command Force. This is one of many colors I have, so let's see how it compares size-wise. Almost identical. So even though by first glance they look very high, they're actually not. I think it's just the shape of the overall shoe. And then I have the Kobe 9, which uh, a lot of people at Nike said was modeled after um, a boxing shoe. So let's take a look here. Same thing, almost identical, just the overall uh, shape is a little bit different. Sole on this is, is very flat as well, good for most of the lifting that I like to do. And then I have a little known shoe called the Nike Air Shark Trainer. This has some ostrich leather on it, if you can see the little dots on the leather. Same kind of idea. Nice high top. Lace closure. Also a very flat sole. Probably not as flat or thin as the Atomics, but I have no issue training in any of the shoes I just showed you. So, all in all, until I get these on feet, I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, I will probably wear these tomorrow, even though I'm not doing legs. Uh, I will probably try these for leg day as well in a couple days, which you guys know that video is always coming. Um, so let me try to lace these suckers up, maybe do a little on foot, see how everything looks for you guys, and then uh, we'll take it from there. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the on foot for these things. They're actually really comfortable. I can feel the floor very nicely through the bottom. They're very flexible. Uh, there's tons of padding in the collar and in the in the ankle. So these would be great for, do, like I said, doing legs, leg curls, extensions, whatever. So thanks, Jade. So yeah, uh, I do not like to lace my shoes when I train. Uh, no big deal. These feel a little bit loose. I may actually want to lace them a tiny bit depending on what I'm doing, but for now they will stay as is, minus this hang tag, that will come off. So like I said guys, lots of padding here in the tongues and lots of padding here in the collar. So doing leg curls or leg extensions, these things would be on the money. And like I said, they're very flexible. I can feel the floor great through them. So no complaints so far. All right guys, just saw you on foot for these Atomic Super High TKOs. Um, like I said, Craftsmanship seems really good. I can feel the floor great. I uh, can't wait to try them for training, especially legs and uh, back for some deadlifts. Um, looks like it'll be a good shoe. Very comfortable, but very supportive. Like I said, the, the padding in the ankle and the tongue is, is very, very, very large. So no complaints there. And for any of you guys looking to maybe pair this with something, I have... Uh, most likely will go with this sucker right here. Even though the greens are a little bit different, I have this tank top from uh, U of Power World. If anybody follows Ulysses, um, I'll put the uh, I'll put his Instagram name on the bottom of the screen in case you guys want to take a look at it. Uh, some great clothing, like I said. Greens a little different, but that'll do for now. So until next time, guys. Let me know if you guys like this kind of content. Um, I'll probably post a few things on the Instagram too. For these and um, I don't know guys until the next workout peace